Bubble has a suite of tools and capabilities that will allow you to manage your app's privacy and security. A lot of these things work right out of the box, but most of these areas you can completely customize to fit your own app. For example, you can set up a password policy where you define the number of characters that have to be typed in, what types of characters they need, and Bubble can also help you by checking the strength of the password. You can also set up completely custom user roles and permissions by leveraging your own database structure. It's completely up to you to create a list of role titles and assigning logic to each of those titles to say, if a person is this title, then they can either access or not access certain data, or maybe they can partially access in a read only manner versus an edit manner. By leveraging your database structure, you can implement really custom privacy rules as well. Privacy rules are a built-in capability that Bubble has to create server-side restrictions to data, but it still is up to you to define the rule itself. And the more organized you are in your database architecture, where you've created clear roles that you can link to users, the more flexible those privacy rules can be, and really the more granular they can be for your app's functionality. You can also create custom logic to determine who can even access a page in your application. Again, this can leverage your database structure. It can take advantage of some built-in capabilities that Bubble has where Bubble can detect if somebody's logged out versus logged in. You can even pull information from the URL if they're coming from an external site. There's a lot of different pathways that you can take to navigate users from page to page, depending on who they are and where they're trying to go in a way that keeps everything secure for everyone involved. You can also create and enforce custom policies to prevent unauthorized access to things like your data sets or access to pages. This can look like email confirmations, password confirmations, typing in a code that was sent via text message. You can have users go through a prerequisite set of steps before they can move forward. You can even create functionality that has users approving data submitted by other users. For example, an employee submits a timesheet and then a manager has to approve that timesheet before the employee can get paid. All of these things are under your control. Most of it has to do with your database structure, but it also involves getting creative with your own logic. It's really up to you to put together the puzzle pieces to create a system that's going to lock everything down and only give access to those who need it. Customizing your app security is critical no matter what type of application you're building. Now remember, there's a lot of security things that are happening behind the scenes that Bubble is handling for you at the server level, things like encrypting passwords, all that stuff that you don't need to worry about. But when it comes to a custom application, there are gonna be custom needs. So don't forget about that layer that you need to add to your application. It's not enough to just have the app working, but you need to make sure you account for any edge cases, any holes in the system that could potentially have unauthorized access to your data sets or to your pages. Take a moment to review every corner of your application and make sure that those uh, are being addressed.